will do this. I can't. I'm paralyzed. Oh well. Buenas tardes, Raimundo. I mean, buenas tardes, wine addicts and guests of the Zdarov with Wine channel. I'd like to reassure you right away. I act like this not because I am a freak crazy about Guy Ritchie. My only little deviance is wine. You should kind of be aware of this. It's just that today we have a bottle from Spain and good afternoon in Spanish is buenas tardes and buenas tardes has for some time been thoroughly associated with Raimondo. Thanks for the culture of me for that. Of course, I could not resist the temptation. So let's better start over again. Hi everyone, you are watching the channel Zdarov with Wine and I, the host of this channel, Evgeny Zdarov, brought for you today, surprisingly enough, wine. Here it is. Ecologica Rioja Doc A, made by Beronia Winery. If the abbreviation Doc A makes you think about the Italian appellations from previous issues, then I am proud of you. That's right, this is it, only in the Spanish version. Now, I will give you a quick introduction to their system. So, from mediocrity to nobility. Vino de Mesa, or table wine. Vino de la Tierra, or local wine. Then, in second place, an analog of the Italian dog, Denominazione de Origen, abbreviated as DO, and finally, the king of the hill is Doc A, an analog of the Italian Doc G. What is valuable in Spain? Only two regions have been awarded the Doc A title. This is Priory Land and, of course, Rioja. The most famous wine growing region of the country, a region with two millennia of experience. The cradle of Spanish wine traditions, to which we will join today through Ecologica Rioja. This wine is classified as organic. Strange word, isn't it? It seems to question all other wines that are not labeled organic. Like, what are you all mixing in there? Grapes that are identical to like natural, genetically modified oak barrels? Of course not. It's just that organic wines are produced as close as possible to the traditional methods of wine making. This means no pesticides, only natural fertilizers, manual harvesting and general abandonment of technology wherever possible. It is extremely difficult to implement. Imagine people intentionally introducing worms, bacteria and fungi into the soil so that they create the necessary conditions for growing vines with the products of their vital activity. Just one more fact so that you finally get the idea. Only the necessary minimum of sulfur dioxide is added to organic wine which has been long used to stop fermentation and also causes headaches in the morning. Therefore, keep in mind if you often experience an unpleasant hangover, then organic wines and in particular Ecologica Rioja are just for you. And now let's take a close look at this wine. Red Dry, made in 2017 from the primary Spanish variety Tempranillo, which translates as premature, that is, early and hasty, a real hot Spaniard. Alcohol is 13.5% and recommended to be served at temperatures 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. Price is 1,859 rubles and I'm pleased to repeat it once again. The dog R category. Well, and one more time, the very last one, dog R, friends. This certainly raises the bar for the anticipation. So the difference between expectation and reality, purely theoretically, may turn out to be huge. Although, I really hope that this will not happen.
No more delays. I can keep on talking both before drinking wine and while doing so, but the rule of the thumb is doing both is more pleasant. A dark cherry color. If you look closely, you can see it turns purple. Well, I'll take a look at the video later and if it doesn't show, we will fix it for you. Or maybe we won't fix it. Anyway, visible or not, there are glares. I am focusing on them because by the color of the wine, you can already understand a lot about it, or at least assume. For example, according to some researchers, the purple hue implies a rather high acidity, which we will check a little later. The aroma is rather herbal, but with hints of red berries. I can smell thyme and rosemary, cherry and a fresh mint undertone. In general, the wine is cheerful and even a little playful. Finally, let us taste Rioja. Its taste is quite complex. Let's figure out step by step. As in the aroma, I can taste berries and most vividly cherry. It is highlighted with the shades of chocolate and sweet spices, especially vanilla and cinnamon. For the latter, we should thank aging in special, Bironia style berries. In order to maximize the enrichment of the wine with flavoring and aromatic compounds, the casks are made of American oak and the bottoms are of French oak. These spices have slightly different properties and Beronia does not deny itself the pleasure of taking the best from each. But I distracted myself a little. Along with the sweet and spicy taste, Rioja demonstrates medium acidity. This is where my predictions did not come true. Sorry. It is harmoniously balanced by moderate rounded tannins. The body of the wine tends to be full but still rather medium. The aftertaste is medium in length and retains the sweet spice. I cannot help but notice that in the last minute I have used the words medium and moderate already five times which makes you wonder. It looks like it is an average wine. Not at all. All these middle range sensations arise from the subtle balance inherent in Rioja. Such is its character. Powerful but balanced. Intense but deep. So if you want to feel all the subtleties of smell and taste, my advice to you is do not rush. Listen to your feelings comprehend them. You can even meditate if you happen to practice such things. Just do not take the entire glass in a gulp. Good wine is hard to come by. Although no, I was wrong to say that. Sometimes it is easy to come by good wine in Spain. Every year, the land of Rioja is saturated with wine and the air becomes thick with the smell of alcohol. In those days, you could get drunk just by going out in the street. And no, I'm not telling you a fairy tale about some El Dorado now, but I am setting out the facts about the annual festival called the Battle of Wine, which is held on June 29th in the small town of Haro in the La Rioja province. Once upon a time, the battles unfolding in the Riscos de Biblio hills were not battles of wine at all, but regular battles. Residents of Haro went to fight the residents of the neighboring village of Miranda de Ebro, first with pitchforks, then swords, then with muskets, just because they both wanted to possess a fortress located in the mountains. For strategic reasons, the inhabitants of Haro also had the religious stimulus because once upon a time St. Felices, a monk and a saint patron of Haro, used to live in the Riscos de Biblio Hills. So, there is some kind of a mystical logic that for now and all, the hills finally belong to Haro.
Every year, the mayor hoists the flag of the city on top of the mountain as a sign of possession, and the residents make a pilgrimage to the chapel of San Felices. This is a very important part of the ceremony. According to the legend, failure to observe it will lead to the instant transfer of the Mount Biblio to Miranda de Ebro. When all the work is done, the funniest or the most tragic, some might say, thing begins. First, people shoot at officials with wine. They use bottles, spray guns, water pistols, or even balloons. No one cares what kind of weapon you choose for the satanic waste of wine. When the irritation accumulated over the year against the representatives of the authorities dries up, the participants of the holiday start firing at every one. Traditionally, for the battle of wine, people put white clothes on. As you can guess, in order to clearly demonstrate to others how many buckets of wine were poured on them and to add more symbolism. This is a game of bloody wine, remember? Wine is a substitute of blood. Intoxication is today's pain and laughter is today's horror. A typical carnival that aims to escape from the routine into the realm of the joy of life and the accomplishment of living. Wine in this ritual represents an ancient sacrifice to the gods. But still, people wake up. According to the statistics, in one such festival, more than 50,000 liters of wine go into the ground and into white shirts. Just think about it, 50,000 liters of wine, it's cheap, true, half of it they probably drink, true, but you know what, let's do this. If suddenly my story about the battle of wine awakened in you an irresistible desire to pour out a couple of bottles of wine, go straight to the about channel section, find my WhatsApp there and message me. Genia, I have spare wine, your city, street, house number, and wherever you are, tomorrow I will be on your doorstep and relieve you of the need to blasphemously spill wine on your neighbor. Yes, I'm a fanatic. Wine is my religion, and I do not hide it. But I am only so harsh in words. In fact, I have nothing against wine atheists. Probably, it is not so bad to douse yourself in wine. In any case, it is more fun than spraying paint at paint festivals. What do you think? Who is crazy? Me or the Spaniards? If you are for me, give me a like. If you are for the Spaniards, write a comment. If you do not know what to write, you can advise a good mental health counselor. I will send them a bottle of Rioja and convert them to my faith. Or maybe I could take them to a wine festival. A proper one, I mean, with tasting, dances and song. Lofty conversations about beauty. Have you ever visited such? Or maybe someone even holds the title of Battle of the Wine Veteran. If so, then I just have to know about it. Describe military accomplishments and social events in the comments. If you do not want to vote for the Spaniards in this way, just leave a mark about this. I will understand and will not account your comment. So, think about who you support. Tell me fascinating stories and I will go and take a nap and then I will be right black in a flash. Back in the flesh, I told you, this is my superpower. Sleep for 8 hours in 2 seconds. It's even puzzling that you didn't come across this idea. How do you think a normal person can taste so many wines if they spend a quarter of their life sleeping? By the way, I have good news for you. 
Ecological Rioja has the same effect on the human body as the organic wines have. That is, it makes you drunk, lulls you to sleep, and then does not demand to give your soul to the devil for the pleasure you have received. Even no dry horrors, and they nearly seem to be good manners. Therefore, I recommend Ecological Rioja to everyone who is tired of having a hangover after a mere couple of glasses. For the same reasons, I advise you to choose Rioja if you have to drink with an unfamiliar person. If you don't like the taste or the aroma, at least there will be no discomfort after the drinking. Plus, this is a great option for young people planning to wake up in the morning in the company of a charming lady. It will be easier for you if the lady does not have a splitting headache provoking her to hate all living things, including you. Our wine today should help. If it doesn't, it is all your fault. Think. Did you make sure there were enough compliments, hugs, and close attention to gestures, hands, or words? Or maybe you served seafood with Rioja. Well, rest in peace. And remember for the future, red meat, cured ham, aged cheeses. This information can save your relationship. You are welcome. Better give your thumb up under the video or comment. Your activity helps our channel to develop, not to mention the fact that it is very pleasant. A wonderful illusion arises that I am not just pouring out my vinified stream of consciousness on the camera, but at the same time I am doing an important and necessary job. Other than Evgeny Zdarov, who would enlighten you in Wine Matters? So, subscribe to the channel, watch new reviews every Wednesday, and put your knowledge into practice every weekend. If the wine goes for you, it is very convenient to add it to the playlist so as to not lose it. You can even create two playlists at once, one for interesting episodes, the other for the most memorable brands tested. Seriously, think about it, because the names and especially details tend to become vague. I also remind you that I am always happy to hear from you and advise you on any wine issue via WhatsApp. And your friends will be glad if you share with them a link to Zdarov with Wine. Just be sure to warn that watching may entail side effects in the form of snobbish wine words and a sharp increase in the duration of choosing a bottle for the evening. However, this is also great fun. Otherwise, we wouldn't be hanging out here. Wine yesterday, wine today, wine always. See you next Wednesday. Bye. There is such an interesting effect. Other wines are so unexpected. The presenter got drunk and could not speak.